We back with another one. And I got my guy in this joint again, man. Another one of my guys. Hollow Point, man. Fuck you, man. Nino Red. Y'all know Hollow Point. What I do, man? What's going on? My nigga. Hey. Man, my motherfucking guy, man. How long? Man, over years. 30, 30 years. I right, clap, fool. For I, real. 100 years. Man, for real. What you been on to, man? Man, you know, grinding still. You know, still dropping and hiding music from folks. I, man, yo, I swear, man. You won't be putting <laughs> shit out, man. Yeah, yo, what, though? That's what we here for, because they all That nigga, man, this, this nigga been sitting on shit, man, for 20 years, bro. And it's 20 years ahead of the 20 years I've been... That man sitting. got seven CDs. No, about eight, really? nine. He probably got like 10 CDs, man. Real talk. Sitting over there in his archive, bumping. And I'm on some of them motherfuckers, too. I'm real like, talk. man, if you don't please release this shit, bro. <laughs> nah, you know for what? For real. Like, yo, Z, we gonna release it, man. Yeah. We got some, uh, some little kinks to cook, though. Straight yeah. Out. You know how they go. Man, you gotta go. You gotta get that shit out that computer, man. man Y'all don't just talk. drop it. Cause let me, know, let me tell you why. Cause in your computer, yes, it ain't making not a sense. It ain't making a dollar. Even if you put it on Spotify, at least, at least, at least it's making some it sense here, man. Get these folks what they want. Yeah, bro. Yeah, so it's been twenty years they've been sitting your computer. These last twenty years, you could have been made some, a couple thousand, man. You feel what I'm saying? No, you don't get money though. Yeah. I'll, I know that nigga. That nigga been getting money for I was getting money. Hey, right now, but, hey guess what though? You know what I mean? Hey y'all, y'all ain't listen though. This might be this the only dude I let critique me, man. I'm talking about I'm hard on anybody that got some reason, man. Shut the fuck up. Z keep me up with the like, holler point. What is you doing? Yeah, man. That's why I love this bro, man. Man, yeah. I'm a, I all gotta keep in contact with you, man. We go yeah, way man. back, man. We go way back. Hey man, I remember we used to work at the uh at the record company, uh Caroline Records. Caroline Records. That's we we <laughs> don't let it all on folks getting their money, bro. We got to get out of shit. I bro. swear, no man. They were pumping CDs. Yeah, all man. Day. We was in there. They, they uh Caroline Records was a place. They, I think it was in in, in Raleigh somewhere. Was in Bar- Bar- yeah, Barley yeah. Warehouse. Yeah. They used to be doing records and shit like uh making records. They had to you give us me, me, you and Smiley. We used to yeah. Y'all like. And we'll be like, damn, man, we, it's a rap CD in this Yeah, like, exactly, man. We like, like shipping yeah. them bitches out, man. And they had, like, they they had to give me some army post in that bitch. They had everything in there, bro. Yeah. Like, Selecto was, you know, sneaky stuff in there. We, mm-hmm. That's how many you got on. We like, mm-hmm. you can sleep. Exactly, yeah, man. Shoot, we go way back, that's man. For real, right for there. real. Hollow Point. So where it started with Hollow Point, man? Man, honestly. Where Hollow Point name come from? Who gave you that name? I thought of it myself because you know that's when the, the bullets first came out. Maybe like mm-hmm. you know when, when it, the bullets got popular. They say mm-hmm. you know you know when rapping with Fat Mac in the Grove. You know I'm a really grow nigga too. So right, right. I'm just to you know I used to have another little name. You know everybody had it, all these different names. Like, right, right, right. see infamous. You know then when I met Lil Elmer, it was like I can't use that. Mm-hmm. You know mess with Wicked and you know skin and all them met them folks. Yeah. So I had to change my name. Mm-hmm. Bam. The hottest thing I got there with them hollow point bullets, right? I'm like, right. yeah, yes, sir. I'm going, I'm going with yeah, that. I'm explosive like this. So I'm like, yeah. Because you were ignorant as hell, young nigga now. Man, I'm playing. And so that's what I'm thinking yeah. in my head. Like, hey, man, these bullets is retarded. And so your like, family is long, deep. Yeah, we deep, man. We deep. Hey, no point that's is deep, bro. Well, I'm a porterfield. Porterfield, I mean. Well, my, not point that's a porterfield, I mean. That's my cousin, too. Yeah, though. yeah. So that, that's, that's the truth. You, you was right, because, you mm-hmm. know, the my kin folks, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got a long, deep, rooted family. Exactly, man. Exactly, man. I know sure. who made who was making y'all beats back then. Well, I mean, I used who was to make making your beats back then? Fat Mac, basically. Mm-hmm. Big Mac, you know. Then you know, uh, I was real loyal, like with the, to the soil like, with that real grow stuff for a long time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That was so for for about three years. We did a lot of real grow tape. And, you know, DJ Sound too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my, that's my guy, DJ wild. Sound. Rest in peace, Live Wire. Rest in peace, Fat Mac, man. Right. You know, Live Wire, Fat Mac was my main producers. Mm-hmm. Then I came. Give me some, you know, we did yeah, all yeah, 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 yeah. But after that, you know, I started dealing with, you know, a few, you know, more what you call uh commercial yeah, yeah. producers. You right, know, right, right. With a few labels and stuff. Right. But for the most part, it was always those guys. Memphis, mm-hmm. Memphis Mo, shout out my guy Memphis Mo. Mm-hmm. One of my beat makers. So yeah. Hey, well, I wanna ask you this one question. What's up with uh you? Men of War. Was you a part of Men of War Click or was you just featured on there? Because on the album it said Men of War Click right. and then it said featuring Hollow Point and featuring uh Holocaust. Yeah. Where we end up and, and I'm on so many songs. Yes, you yes, yes, yes. So, you was on that song first move. I, man, I'm really I'm on You're on a lot of them songs I'm on though. Twelve or the fourteen probably. Right. So what ended up happening was it was actually 
the D O N album. Don Don. Yeah, Don Don. That was Don album. Mm-hmm. We got over there, you know, me and Don, we was always, you know, doing our thing together. So me and him was the only ones that really was, you know, writing hooks, coming up with ideas. Right. Blase, blase. So I was going, I, I said I would come to, you know, get in that little click or whatever mm-hmm. because of my guy. Mm-hmm. You know, Sean Dale, too, that's my guy. Yeah. Bad man. Right. So I was actually still hollow point, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. I just used the opportunity to give some of the stuff that I wasn't really using mm-hmm. to, you know, help them build their album up. And what ended up happening was I ended up being a part of it. Mm-hmm. So, but I still just wanted to stay hollow point. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, it was a, we, we was mental with a click, true that. But I also was a solo artist. Oh, okay. See, I, that's something I just yeah. learned. I always thought you was just... Like with the men of war click, no, like, you know. Yeah, I was with. I was. I was more with. It was. You know, I thought. Group. I thought that was. You, I really thought that was you and Don Don group. That's what it should have been. Just to be honest with you, because mm-hmm. then we were the ones putting in most the actual back work. Right. You know, they came in and dropped their verses. Right. And that's what the general idea was. Mm-hmm. Me and Don we was gonna do the boss album and all this. So that was mm-hmm. like leading up to. Right. You know, in the inside album, we had the Hollow Point album, mm-hmm. the Five Dead, and the Dio. No, we really was leading up to something. Right, right, right. And so that Men of War album, it it, it really kind of took off because we, you know how we do, we just drop it. Mm-hmm. And so we yeah, realized that's how we, we doing back some, in yeah, we, yeah, we realized we had a nice project. Mm-hmm. When I got older, they only had one song, which was D.O.N. song. Mm-hmm. From that point, we just got together, put our minds together, and, you know, came yeah. up with some classy stuff. You know what I mean? Man, you and D.O.N., uh... Y'all worked it. Y'all worked tight together, bro. Yeah. Y'all, y'all did a lot of songs, man. Yeah, and we got. And y'all was like, when I saw you, I saw him. It was like, man, always. What, 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 what happened to that relationship with you and Don, man? Well, I mean, it's it's really to on my. If you want to know my my. Yes, I do. Of, yeah, yeah. My part of it would be other people in between me and Don. Right. Because when it's just me and him mm-hmm. working on music, everything great. Mm-hmm. It's only when we expand. You know what I mean? Right. Because he got people that he mess with. I got folks I mess with. Right. When I go to, you know, his situation, I'm coming pretty much alone. Mm-hmm. But when I get older, it's, you know, and it's all, you know, people that he working with, because he going to drop everything mm-hmm. and work on Hollow Point stuff, the jealousy come in. Right. You know, somebody might tell him, like, my Hollow Point, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm saying this on earth. You know, I ain't never said nothing bad not to you. No, you haven't. He ain't you never said no same about, question. He ain't time. never said nothing bad about you. And to guess me what? Me and him I ain't even never got into no 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 mm-hmm. altercation. Yeah. Just, we just stopped. You know, whatever. Mm-hmm. And people, I get this question all the time. He is one of the people that I enjoy doing music with. You see what I'm saying? Me and him do make magic. We got a lot of unreleased stuff right now. Mm-hmm. But it's always the same thing. It comes back to the same. it's always people in between. Hey man, I, I, when, when uh, y'all stop doing music, right? Out I, I was in the middle, right? Because I fuck with both of y'all tough, exactly. right? So it, I kind of felt the felt the hit too, right? Yeah. Because I, damn man, why y'all ain't doing music together? Because yeah. I fuck with both of y'all. I fuck with both of y'all tough, tough. It is, crazy. and I'm like, damn man, y'all good together, man. No man, y'all gotta keep on doing music, man. Y'all can't be doing. That's how I felt. It's a lot of you feel what I'm saying, man. For real, for real, man. You know what? No, but every day, bro. And if it's not every day, it's at least twice a week. Mm-hmm. Just to be realistic. Somebody always ask me, man, what's up with you and so-and-so? So, man, y'all, I heard that joint. I went out so-and-so, so I heard you and Don. Joint, man, that joint still bumping. I be, you know, my head, I'm like, it's, to me, it's not about just music. It is. We can definitely do a whole lot of stuff together mm-hmm. and don't even have to see each other, mm-hmm. you know, for the bad. Right. But some... My end, I'm always available, mm-hmm. but I'm also one of them people that if I see something, mm-hmm. because I, 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 I fool with that mind that tough, yeah. I ain't going to never beef with him. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Because like, that's like your brother, man. Yeah, we come yeah, up yeah, together. yeah. And I ain't going to beef with him. Anybody yeah. else, anybody else, I've been and shot at the end or something. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, for real. Like, right. But me and him ain't never had, we never even got to argue. Mm-hmm. You understand what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I do. I do, man. I do. So it's like, it's, it's, it's crazy because you will look, and you know, on the outside of it, you will think that, Oh, these dudes must be beefing. We really ain't beefing. We mm-hmm. ain't even never argued. Mm-hmm. Now, you, he might have said something about me to somebody, and I might have retorted yeah. or said something about me, but we ain't never came to each other. I, I, I never saw that now. Nah, nah. I never saw. I, when y'all when y'all stopped doing music, I never saw. I, I, I never thought y'all was beefing. Nah. I just thought y'all just stopped doing music. I never thought y'all was into it. Just, like I said, you never said nothing bad about him, and, and he not, never said nothing bad about you. Not, so I knew y'all. I knew y'all weren't beefing. For, at all. You know what I'm saying? We've been through way too much. Bro know me and I know him. Point mm-hmm. blank. And I ain't finna do dude like that. Right. That ain't, like, you know, somebody else, I don't care about, you know, I ain't never, we got too much history. 
You know what I'm saying? Exactly, bro. So exactly, the, man. The thing about that is, if it's easier for me to be over here and him be over here, just mm-hmm. coexist, that way is it, because I'm not going to be with him. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Right, right, right. If, just like me and you, we ain't never had a crossword. Never, so man. So what do we do? Or something go wrong, I'm not going to be like, man, we're going to blow some No, man, we going to, no. Brother, that's, my friend, exactly, just, bro. Just, they, they don't never reach that. I see you when I see you. Yeah, yeah, man. I see you when I see you. Yeah, exactly, man. We, that's how me and, if you want, that's how we always hash it out. Right. It's one of them things we go mm-hmm. through years and might be bumping to each other, get back to us. Right. But it's always the same thing. Mm-hmm. So I pulled myself out. Say just, that, man. Say yeah, that, man. Like, you got one of, the, uh, one of the iconic songs from the Gimme song now. And it's been sampled a couple times, bro. Right. On some now, man, a couple people don't sample it. I sampled it. I, oh, man. It, hey, skinny. <laughs> hey, you. The song is, the song is, uh, Increasing the murder rate. Mine, bro. And you Holler know Point. Y'all look that up, man. Increasing the murder rate by Holler Point. Give me some family. Just type that in. Classic. It got plenty of views. Classic. Y'all done heard that on plenty of songs, too. Sample. And you know, I was the only dude on that album. Yeah. That had, they had the solo song. song. Yeah, yeah. Because just like we were just discussing about the men of war, right? Mm-hmm. When I... Skinny, that's my brother. Like, right. him and... You know, Wicked. That's my cousin. Yeah, Wicked, yeah. Him and Wicked were tight. Mm-hmm. I mean... Everybody else through them. Mm-hmm. I used to be sitting there listening. I mean, I'm just being real. These boys was in that joint, my coming up with some hits, right? Mm-hmm. But you know me, I'm doing. I'm hitting Cordell because I'm a rapping person. Then nobody, mm-hmm. you know, he, he, then nobody know me then. Yeah. So I got to, you know, pick yeah, back yeah, off these exactly, fellas, right? Exactly, exactly. When I got ready, you know what I'm saying. When I came up to get my song done, I seen, you know, that's when I was me, you, and mm-hmm. uh, AK. AK, yeah. Bro, hey, we, you know, we was hungry. We yeah, was I clapped boys. young niggas, man. Yeah, we were young niggas, and we wasn't to be fucked with. <laughs> like, like we, clap, you know, man. We was, we was almost on shit like, man, we ready for it. Whatever. Skinny and whoever. Like, whatever. We, we, y'all yeah. got the drugs. Yeah, man. So exactly. we, when we got in that dungeon, mm-hmm. like, hey, hey, everything came out. And the only reason that I didn't, Continue to do that mm-hmm. because we were previously talking about. I yeah. got into doing the Mental War album. Mm-hmm. And then I was doing another album with mm-hmm. Rest in Peace Fat Mac and Memphis Mo. I don't, y'all know Memphis Mo. We did a joint called M Town Family. Mm-hmm. Then I was messing with Criminal E and Underground Sam. Mm-hmm. You know, I, if they, I'm on a whole lot of stuff with a whole lot of people. And it's mm-hmm. just, I was tied up. Yeah. You know, I was everywhere. Yeah, you know what man. I mean? Yeah, yeah I man. was everywhere. Hey, how that jump from the Twitters? How that jump go? From the twitching of my thumb, something wicked this way come. Dropping it bombs. bombs. It's the Stuff. Prince of Darkness, Antichrist. Come get you, so I ain't <laughs> like anybody be sampling hey, that part there, listen, bro. Listen, I came in there in the beat. You know, Boogie Man made that beat. Right, right? Steve Petty. Steve, yeah. he made that jump, man. Mm-hmm. And nobody wanted, didn't want to touch it. Mm-hmm. So when Skinny brought me in there, he was like, man, go on there, bro, listen to some beats. Mm-hmm. I heard that job top. I said, ah, that's the one. Yeah, you killed that job. Yeah, I one. just played that job again today, man. That's the one, man. Yeah, that job got plenty of yeah, birds, man. On the 18. Like yeah, we man, we were young niggas, yeah, they, man. They, they, we were just rapping for fun. Like right. you said, y'all, you and Donna used to get in studio and just, man, just be doing, man, dropping bro. songs. Some of the stuff y'all didn't hear was some of the greatest stuff never heard. Like, exactly, some, man. Because you know how to do a situation, you probably do 40 songs just to get 12. Mm-hmm. So some of the stuff you didn't hear was just great. Mm-hmm. For yeah, real, for real. Up. So, man, I see you on uh, hum- hum- uh, Homicide. Homicide, man. Y'all uh, did a movie called Black Memphis. Man, was yes, that the name man. of it? That was the name Black, of Black yeah, Memphis? Black Memphis. It was a, it was a, that John looked good, too, bro. Yeah, it was dealing in, you know, it was dealing with, with the, um, it was during the time, you know, the, the unrest, you know, the bridge, mm-hmm. you know, they blocked the bridge off and um, time they were t- turn the statue. Right, 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 right. No, it was a little, it was a little you know, mm-hmm. so we played off there and got into there and just, Put a little message out there. It took mm-hmm. the opportunity to, uh, you know, do it. like a little short film. Yeah, it was a short film that yeah. had the potential to be longer. Mm-hmm. What ended up happening was, shout out Adele. Mm-hmm. He ended up moving away, the guy who did the movie. Mm-hmm. And uh, kind of killed that. But we still in touch with him, so it's not like it's not possible, you know. Yeah. Now it's just time to go to the, to the man, next Man, how, how was it like in it, being in the studio with skinning them back in the days, man, when you was in the studio? Like, how was it like, man? Like being a fly on the wall watching the board. Yeah. Yeah, them boys were hard, man. You know, mm-hmm. like, honestly, man, I always tell people, man, and, and they think I say that because skinning my brother. He's like, he your brother. Right. I'm telling folks right now, that was the hardest rapping dude come out of Memphis. Like, everybody in the city wanted to be like dude. Mm-hmm. For whatever, you know, I'm talking about he made... You step your game up. You know what I'm saying? You ain't just gonna come with this. Bro was, bro was my versatile. So, mm-hmm. and to be so young, you know, they seemed like they was a lot older than mm-hmm. us. Right? Yeah, you know, right. how we looked at them, we thought they was a lot older. We were like, these niggas. Yeah. Was, these niggas was just young niggas too. Yeah. They just were very they, talented. They, they, they were, like, well, yeah, they like, had went through some shit too. Like, like Cordell, <laughs> yeah. they went through a lot. Yeah, exactly. And so, 
I'm running, I'm with Cordell. I'm going over DJ Paul have a Cordell at night, and I'm looking at this dude like this little old motherfucker cold as hell. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. he's young, you know, he young dude too. Mm -hmm. It just seemed like them dudes was cause they was more advanced at it for mm -hmm. Yeah, they was just they were just some of the most talented people in the city, you know, because you know, we didn't have no big um market for rap. Right. We we really literally fought our way into the game. So mm -hmm. them was the they was the prize fighters. Mm-hmm. You know, skinny Al Capone, mm -hmm. Gangsta Pat. Them exactly, dudes, man. Them dudes were dropping, man. Them dudes were dropping, man. Psycho. Them dudes had songs, man. We mm -hmm. were seen in school. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What I'm exactly. saying? In, in every school. Mm -hmm. and, you know, back then, uh, the internet went around. Went so around. we had Boss Ugly Bobs and, mm -hmm. you know, Cartoons and Mr. Cartoons Z's and, and Mr. Shit. Z's. And them dudes tape couldn't stand that story. Mm -hmm. And that, see, that's why a nigga said it about me. He said, man, I didn't even know about you, did. I just, I just learned about you, man, a couple of years ago because I had to explain to him, like, look, because I came up on the umbrella right. of Skinny Pimp. And, right, he was one of the hardest in the city. And, and it was a lot of us. It was a lot of us, man. It was and, a lot I mean, of Kadu, us, bro. Because dude embraced whoever could rap. Yeah, like, damn right. Right, you know what I'm saying? But in the, in the, the only problem with it was mm -hmm. it was a lot of us. Mm -hmm. So you couldn't distinguish... Who from who, who unless you knew their voice. Exactly, and, you know, man. We, or we had to what say our name a million yeah, times. Yes, bro. You know exactly. what I mean? See, we got to, yeah, we and got then, to continue yeah. to come there. It's a holler coming yeah. up. You know, exactly, just got to let you know. Because so, if exactly. you don't, you're going to get caught up in there. Yeah, because it was so many of us, man. <laughs> they got to, they had to stand out. And, yeah. and I was trying to tell them that I was just one of those guys from the giving something to just, just st stuck with. So I just kept on different. I just kept on walking. And I had that different, distinctive voice, too, and then you were, And then you were Kevin kind of. Pulled yeah. out to the side, mm -hmm. so y'all made it. Yeah, exactly, man. We did that. Uh, Z Dog and AK. Exactly, yes, sir. Yeah, y'all made it, and mm -hmm. that's and that and that's when people start to see it was just, like individual. Yeah, see, exactly. We had man. to go that group thing first. Mm -hmm. And in that group session, mm -hmm. I don't know if a lot of you folks out here listen know about that group session. When you come to some of them, I don't know if y'all been to a cipher like a real one, a Memphis joint. Yeah. When niggas got big blunts mm -hmm. and everybody think they cold and yeah. you got these niggas with these pads. Also, my niggas in there bumping hard, Man, We bro. got, hey, niggas like King Goldie. Man. You know, you got some real live dogs in there. Man, I swear, man. So you got to get in. So For guess real. what? If you made a skinny pimp album, you was, you was, you was. You, man, you was one, man. Yeah, you was Because there was a lot of niggas in there trying to make it. And a lot of people knocking on that door, beating on that door and couldn't get in. So couldn't, man, because it was, man, look, <laughs> like you said, my nigga was in there just kicking raps. that you never, had to go against us. It was raps we kicked that never made it on tapes. We was just in there just, just bumping out, bro. You feel me, man? And you lying to get your ass whooped in there. Oh, goddamn right. <laughs> Quick now. <laughs> Quick now. You can like, nigga gonna test your ass you now. Test your gangster, see, that's, man. Yeah, that's a lot of, that's goddamn a lot of Right. Cause there was a lot of motherfuckers in that book, but I'm telling you, right, I, I, don't, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Uh, we still don't know about it coming in and don't know how to rap. It's not like Jeff Pro Records, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, for what you said, for real, for real, like, man. We got to get on your ass in there. Hey, so what Holler Punk got going on now, man? man? Right now, man, I'm about mm -hmm. to relaunch a podcast. You know, I was doing a um, podcast mm -hmm. a couple years ago. Right, right. During a pandemic or whatever, and it did, you know. What's the name of John again? We was called Bastards of the Bay, me and Dirty Mike. Yeah, exactly. You know exactly, I mean? exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, me and that nigga smiling, mm -hmm. man. Mm. Man, that's stupid, bro. but well, we got some we got some stupidity coming. Mm -hmm. Me and Homicide got some stuff we working mm -hmm. on. Some old backyard shit. Exactly, man. Yeah, yeah. We uh you know some OG shit. I'm finna yeah. hit y'all. I guess with the hey, for your folks, man, you know I'm, I'm trying to get him. I got break. my boy Z. Hey, one thing he just told y'all, <laughs> me and my boy got some hot shit that yeah, I'm having. man. I won't even let him get it. I've been trying to get that man, get that hard drive. Like I said, man, look, just bring the hard drive, bring and it to me, it today, and I'm just gonna upload. He, he, he ain't forget. Nah. He ain't forget. Nah. I, <laughs> nah, nah. I said, I'm man, look, just bring the hard drive. I'm gonna upload all of the Spotify. I love y'all. I don't understand. This is my guy, right? I just need to see where he was at, right? So I know, like, hey, yeah, I'm cool with that. Yeah. So yeah, we can work because he, he know I'm gonna pull up on. Him. Exactly. He man. asked me. Any, if you, I don't know what one of them smoke albums he got. Mm -hmm. He came and asked me, "It's another one or uh, Z yeah. Temple." Brian got you to call yeah, me. Man, exactly, yeah, man. he called me. I'm coming, so mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna come with the. I know what it is, man. We both know yeah, what it is, man. You know, it's, it's nothing but I much know, love, man, for real. And I'm so proud to see my guy still push it. Cause get what, y'all motivate me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause I forget all about this and just be mm -hmm. hustling. You know what yeah. I mean? Forget all about talent. Forget right, all about right, fans right. and all that. Cause they hustle for real. But, mm -hmm. but, it's hard, man. You know, I just uh see once skinny heads, you know, we stopped doing the to give me some stuff. I started right. doing my own. I just man, I was already in too deep. Right. Skinny put me in too deep already. Right, yeah. He 
Made, we did the Z Dog and AKT. He had DJ Paul them on on that joint, man, and put, then you know he took me on tour with New Edition. Them, right? That was like, man, I can't man, stop nah, doing man, no music drug. right now. I'm addicted, that's so I had to keep on pushing to man. I can't give up. I got to push my name to the top, and I just I just worked on that, man. I just man, kept on working. Right. I'm, I'm not gonna give up because that's what I do now. Because it's a drug. I always it tell is, people, man, man I retired from this shit 200 times mm-hmm. and came back 250. Exactly, man. It's, you know, because I'm never gonna quit. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So, cause guess what? Even though I still got a studio, mm-hmm. I still got equipment, I still got. I ain't got a fire ass studio. You know what I'm saying? Thing. All I be telling folks here, man, don't think that just cause you don't see the work mm-hmm. that a motherfucker ain't working. We mm-hmm. working, just like my guy them. They working. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just that I'm just one of them guys that just like to sit back, cause I'm a, I'm too much of a perfectionist. That's mm-hmm. why I ask my. He ain't lying, man. He I like, man, I gotta brother. make sure I gotta make sure it's right. Yeah. I said, my just listen to it. It's right. It's right. I asked my brother. I'll be like, I'm yeah. gonna let you get it, cause if I keep if I sit yeah. on it, I'll be sixty before I drop. It. Mm-hmm. You understand know what I'm saying? Cause I'm gonna hear something wrong, yeah. and I know ain't nothing wrong, cause I listen to it two hundred times. Mm-hmm. It's just my mind. Yeah. Just, that's why I always went in the studio with these guys with mm-hmm. the script they're talking about and I drop and leave. Right. I don't sit around for it because if I stay there, mm-hmm. it won't never come out. No, man, man. Take that out. Hey, y'all got y'all, he got y'all, we gotta uh stay on them, man. Make them uh, man, release that, that hey, music, man. Trust me, once they for see real. this, once they see this, they're gonna be calling me and I'm gonna be ignoring this shit out of half of y'all. Just gonna be honest with you. Hey, I'm, gonna you some, y'all, yeah. I'm gonna give y'all y'all dope, but uh don't worry me. <laughs> yeah, you got some old, you got some old school music that these fans want to hear, man. Like, for, for real, real for I, real. I fuck with them though, cause yeah. y'all pushing, y'all, man. I mean, it's the only thing. My only gripe is, mm-hmm. man, don't muddy up the waters. Mm-hmm. Don't take nothing old of mine and make it, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right, exactly, make it, if you don't, if you don't sample me, mm-hmm. make it sound good. Yeah, exactly. If you don't take, man. if I give you some vocals, I ain't gonna say no name to nobody. But mm-hmm. if I give you some vocals, man, on GP, man. Put it on there right. Yeah, exactly. I'm throwing man. you a bone, man. Don't yeah. make me sound like a fool. Exactly, man. Mix never, my shit down right, yeah, man. You'll never get a chance to get there from me. Not either. no more. Not no, no more. I don't care who you are. Mm-hmm. Because it don't take nothing to do stuff right. Mm-hmm. Hey, take- man, you did some time in jail, too. How long you did? Man, you know, I, I flattened the fire yeah. once, you know what I mean? Been a, a, in there, in and out a whole lot. <laughs> yeah, you had a bottle. You had one of them. You had one of or some shit like that, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah. You know, I remember. Yeah, because, you know, you know I still, they, what they don't know is I was in the streets for real, too. Nigga, I know. You know yeah, we was, like, it wasn't like the That's one That's why I said, nigga, you was out here getting that, that big bag for Z Dog even more. Man, you know, and the thing about it is, mm-hmm. with that right there, come people, robbers, mm-hmm. you know, snatch, you know, snatch kids, take kids, kidnap or whatever, mm-hmm. you know. So I was just, you know, involved in the streets just like every other person my age. And, I mean, you just couldn't take nothing from me. Exactly. You know what I mean? I, right. I mean, I wasn't the person to take it from mm-hmm. because my mind ain't going to let me rest. Exactly. You man. understand what I'm exactly, saying? It wasn't going to let yeah. me rest like that. Me and I threw away a whole lot. I had a whole record deal at that mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. I had just got in with Columbia Records right then mm-hmm. and threw it all out the window. Because mm-hmm. you just, you know, everybody know me. No, I was, man, I'm talking about. Recording with some of the best producers, you know, in the best studio, but I still was out there getting to the bag. Exactly. Because right. guess what? Rap don't pay your front. No. Rap mm-hmm. don't pay your front, so exactly, you got to eat. Man. And these robbers, and you know, mm-hmm. these streets are deadly now. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, to survive back then, especially during the time we was out there, I mean, you was going to have to be a monster among monsters. Man, what else you know how to do? What else you good at, man? What else you know how to do, man? You a good cook or anything? Yeah, what, man, what, else, what else you good at? What else you good at? I cook them pots a little bit, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Everybody know me, man. I, they know I be putting them grill place up, man. They know I'm yeah. good with the kitchen. Uh, yeah, hey, I got to, you know, nice little mask skin. Say that, man. Yeah, Say yeah, that, man. You know, Say hey, that, man. Hey, it's a lot of, hey, get what? Multifaceted, man. Yeah. You know? Uh, 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 it's a whole lot of stuff I know how to yeah. do. I already know it. I'm a, I guess I'm what you call it, with an artist, an yeah, actor, yeah, uh, man. cook, uh, gangster. <laughs> yeah, you know man. Saying, play, all play, that. You know, I'm, I'm just everything. Yeah, man. man me, and my nigga, me and Kyle, I was just saying, a jack of all trades, man. Jack Look, all we trades, know man. something about everything. Yeah, we know, know a little something about everything. I might know a whole lot. I might yeah. not know a whole lot about this, but I know a, a whole, little bit about all this. That's what I'm saying, yes, man. Sir. Because yes, anything sir. you bring up, nigga, we going to know how to do it. We know yeah. a little something about everything. Well, we ain't going to never be out of it. I'm For gonna, real, I'm for real, man. Out. Hell yeah. Hey, man, I'm just thinking about the new, um, the uh, the Memphis culture these days, man. It's totally different than when we came up. Well, I just had a conversation about that with another. Artist. I'm like, what I do like about the the Memphis culture is, mm. is right now is hot. And, you know, the old rapper in me, 
mm-hmm. be on some damn. Mm-hmm. Why not? Why now? Mm-hmm. Well, y'all was here 20 years ago when right. we needed y'all. But right. the other side of me, the supportive person to me, like, man, y'all better make it happen. Because mm-hmm. we, we went through hell mm-hmm. to open them doors for y'all. Yeah. Y'all don't even know. Mm-hmm. People didn't even want to deal with us because of the stuff we just talking about. Mm-hmm. We're too gangster. Mm-hmm. So y'all, y'all got it right. Y'all got internet. Y'all and y'all go in the studio, upload it right now, and go viral. And what mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So Memphis been waiting so long, mm-hmm. and I am glad to see these young artists getting their bag. Exactly. The only man. thing I don't like is don't get rich and beef, man. Mm-hmm. Don't beef. get rich and beef. Exactly. Yeah, beef is for broke folks, mm-hmm. man. But I, I see a lot of young people. Uh, Memphis has a lot of legends, man. man. Memphis has a lot of rappers that started. You know, we've been doing this for years. Yes, sir. I don't see a lot of us on these young, young right. dudes. We, I don't see a lot of us on their music at all. I be trying, I be trying to reach out to a lot of these, these young cats and put them on my stuff. Right. But I don't see a lot of us, you know, we don't, re- doing it. Re- yeah, like. because uh, I feel like Memphis let their legends die out. They Memphis did. would let their legends die out. Niggas would just. Forget about that. Because you know what I'm saying? New York don't do that. California don't do that. Mm-hmm. Texas don't do that. Atlanta don't do that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But Memphis is just Memphis, you know, it was that way when we was young. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why we were stuck in those cliques. Right. Because we were beefing with people that we could have been that it was no reason to be beefing right. with. Right. And that's why I spoke on that, right? right. There. Exactly. We were beefing with people that we didn't even know. Mm-hmm. It's just like Oh my, my my guy don't like you. Come on, it's like over, it's, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. we all, and I'm gonna diss you. Yeah. And then when we see you line, you know, try to get up with you. Mm-hmm. And don't even know what it's about. Didn't yeah. even care. Didn't even care, yeah. My folk would have said something about skin or somebody mm-hmm. like that. We on. jumped in the car, we yeah, ready to go man. do something. I swear with you. You exactly, know what I mean? So man. but they, you know, they understand the art of marketing and the art of cash. You know? mm-hmm. See, they know this content. Mm-hmm. We didn't have it. Only mm-hmm. thing we had was the streets. Yeah, exactly. So the streets man. was our internet. Exactly, it was. You know it what I mean? Was, the schools was. was our internet. Exactly, man. The mall. We mm-hmm. go in the mall, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it was like they got it made. They don't mm-hmm. understand it. So they have no reason to be. Mm-hmm. But you're right. They do let their legends die. They don't read back. Mm-hmm. Why, what, what, you think, why do you think Memphis never came together, man? Like, Why do I uh, think it, that? I, I see a lot of people say, man, Memphis need to come together. Memphis need to come. I mean, my opinion, I don't think Memphis going to never come together. As because, a whole, and like do an album or, or something like that, there or a tour or something. I mean, we have though. We have artists from South Memphis on record. Come would you see motherfucking Player Fly, Skinny right. Pimp, Three Six Mafia, Eight Ball, MJG, yeah. Tommy Rice the Third, uh, Gangsta Pat, uh, Tommy Rice the Third, uh, Lil Jen? Would you see all of them on tour together? Do you think that'll happen one day? I, I would I, love to I, see I that. I would love happen. to see that, but I think old wounds. In Memphis don't heal. Mm-hmm. I just think they don't heal mm-hmm. because a lot of those people you just spoke on, I Colonel Mind, Squeaky, all them all. I mean, and, and see, Cram, that's one of my brothers. That's my guy. Shout man. out to Cram, man. Yeah, Cram, that's my guy, yeah. man. And uh, Cram, a good dude, man. You know, a lot of folks. So a lot of people' attitudes is not on the beef, mm-hmm. but the old stuff. See, because mm-hmm. you know, we just got through speaking on. Putting hands on people, exactly. guns getting pulled, mm-hmm. people getting slapped around with guns, people mm-hmm. getting jumped on, people getting shot. Some people got killed. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you know, sometimes it's not that easy to just stand out and say, you know what? Man, that shit was up back then, bro. Let's squash that shit and get yeah. this bag. You understand what I'm saying? Because now you got ego because even in our OG circle, we got some OGs that think they better than the other OG. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You're right, you're right. You might got $200 more than this dude, and you think mm-hmm. you're balling because you don't know what this man got. You're right. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We have to, in, in our circle, it's time to ego check mm-hmm. at the door. Mm-hmm. It's time to ego check right. because who you was in the 90s, that's not who you are because mm-hmm. the reality of it is, don't nobody give a shit. Mm-hmm. Music keep it moving, man. Mm-hmm. Music keep it moving. Yeah. That's, that's why we see so many new people coming up. Mm-hmm. We don't got damn got time. See, we could they used to hold us back. You know this. Yeah, yeah. We if we was with a particular person, and I'm finna say it, if you one part of three six mafia camp in Memphis, the radio station didn't want to deal with you. That's why you think A Ball and all them, they were somewhere else. Mm-hmm. You know, for years they didn't even really represent Memphis like that. Mm-hmm. They was Texas boys. Yeah. Right? You're because right, you're all right. you remember we used to go to radio state, them them jokers had him to tie mine chains on mm-hmm. and the DJs did. Right. They mm-hmm. you know cause they had the payola mm-hmm. to stop skinning music from getting on there. Mm-hmm. If they play it, they gonna play it without the vocals. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Right. 
And if you go up there and try to give them the money, mm-hmm. these these they might give them a little bit more. Mm-hmm. So that's do, the, like, do you really think that happened though? I see. Also, do you do you really think? I don't. I I, I can't say that. I, I don't know. I, I heard it. I, I heard this. I heard about that. People no, said I, it happened, I, but I I, I didn't I witness it. it. I don't I know. Am. People would say, man, three cents paid them for another place. I, because it was all I about don't know. Because the, the radio DJs weren't making no money. They was making what people making on the job. Mm-hmm. Seven dollars an hour. Mm-hmm. Eight, you know what I mean? That's just the truth of the matter. Mm-hmm. You know, I know a lot of, you know, you know I ain't going to put on my real talk. That's what happened. And it mm-hmm. was always because, you know, me and Devin still, we went to school together in Snowden. I mm-hmm. know him right over here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He was one of the people that helped me get in there. Mm-hmm. And... I put Skinny on the song on his little Scatter Piece album mm-hmm. with me and his dude D-Lex. And Skinny, you know, he was vocal about what they were doing to him. He said something. And not only did they take the name of the song, the song's called When the Smoke Clears. Mm-hmm. Researched it. After we put that out, they put a whole album out called When the Smoke Clears. Mm-hmm. Say that, man. You know what I mean? And that's yeah. just a fact mm-hmm. because Devin Steele was messing with us and them too. Say that, man. And Skinny, he went and told them, no lie, he told them that, you know, Mm-hmm. Skinny dissing y'all on it. Mm-hmm. Because he, you know, my boy was getting him hell mm-hmm. on the underground. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And he wasn't stopping mm-hmm. because they did do him foul. Mm-hmm. They, they may did, not want, nobody may not want to admit the truth, but the truth mm-hmm. for them out is they were some foul dudes mm-hmm. when it came to business right. with people that would have gave their lives for them. Mm-hmm. And, and guess what? A lot of them did mm-hmm. for their brand. Right, and they they did come in and shut all of us, you know, because any other city we just spoke on, Atlanta, mm-hmm. New York, when you see somebody hard, mm-hmm. man, that's money, mm-hmm. man. Let that man in, man. Let that yeah. girl in here and let her let her do her thing. Right, get some mm-hmm. room in here for all of us, mm-hmm. not Memphis, because honestly, Z, even right now, man, it ain't nothing but a couple of camps that's popping in Memphis. Right now. When it comes to the music, it's the same mm-hmm. thing. You ain't lying, man. You it's the same lying. thing. The bag just bigger. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, you ain't lying, and, man. And they not reaching back and saying, you know what? And they scared to say, I listen to you. They scared to say, bro, I used to bump your music. I hear them tell me on the low, because yeah. I know a whole they bunch be of people. They'll be in the inbox and say Yeah, they're, man, they're, they're willing to call you a legend, big OG or whatever. In, 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 I swear. And, and I say, uh, OG, man, mm-hmm. man just let me throw you something, man. Come, just throw me a 16 for the, mm-hmm. just for old time's sake. Mm-hmm. Just, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's too much. That's too much like right. You're right. Because don't nobody want to be associated with the old rapper. Mm-hmm. But one thing about it, ain't a young nigga out here can hold these old rappers in Memphis. Man, I still got it. I know Come you on, still man. got it. Come on, man. Hey, ain't a young real, nigga out here can hold us, bro. For and I'm real. talking about, I can name a whole bunch of people that I'm not going to do. Because mm-hmm. y'all already know. Because mm-hmm. y'all sent back lists to us and stood in their flow. Yeah. And switching it up. We hear mm-hmm. y'all. Mm-hmm. We've we been hearing it for years. Exactly. Man. We heard y'all still the, 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 the cadence. Cadence, exactly, yeah. The, the, the verses, mm-hmm. the choruses, the redo. We heard all that. Mm-hmm. So don't say y'all want to listen to us. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, it's giving out free game, man. You know, we got to give, give out some free game before we get up out of here, man. You got man, some free game for these folks, man. Man, stay down, man. Stay mm-hmm. real, man. Hey, apologize when needed. Yeah, you man. You feel what I'm saying? Put your pride to the side. Swallow your ego. Pull your pants up. Be a man. You know man. what I'm saying? Don't piss while you're sitting down, my nigga. Yeah, hey, that's some damn good one. Yeah, don't piss hey, while you're sitting real, down. For real. Cause a real nigga ain't gonna do all that. Real mm-hmm. motherfucking man gonna stand out here. And you females too. Mm-hmm. Y'all keep it one, keep it classy, lady. Nah, exactly. You see man. what I'm saying? Hey, respect the OGs. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? No win to say win. Mm-hmm. You understand? Hey, man, for sure, man. Look, I'm just gonna pick it back off there what he said, man. Stay down and stay being yourself. Don't be switching up, man. Be yourself today, tomorrow, next year, and a year after that. Be yourself. And it's gonna Don't be off. changing up, man. I'm talking about be yourself. Don't be trying to be nobody you ain't, man. Be yourself. And that's worth more than anything, man. And I got for one real, more thing to say. The Hollow Point Icon status is coming. Yeah. Look for it. I'm going to make sure. For sure. <laughs> for real. And we ain't here my guy Hollow Point, man. And that's, that's giving out free game. Love y'all, man. Y'all stay real, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah.